you need to calculate a sample size, you can do so with our sample size calculator. The QI macros go down to ANOVA tools and choose sample size. It'll pop open a window like this and you can specify your confidence level, intervals, populations if known. You can change the defects or the standard deviation and it'll calculate it for you. So here's an example from Joseph Duran. Uh, we're sampling battery life, so confidence estimate be, it must be within two hours. So we'll type in two hours. And our standard deviation here is going to be 10. And we want to be 95% confident. When you do that, you get a sample size of 96 to be able to be 95% confident that your battery life will be what you expect. Uh, if, for example, we wanted to do this differently, we might come back, get a different one, just reload here. Again, here, if you have attribute data and you're trying to determine what kind of defects might be out there, um, how confident do you want to be? let's say I want to be 95% confident, you can see suddenly I need a lot more parts, but maybe I only need a confidence interval that's plus or minus 0.1. Uh, so again, my sample size drops down to 96. And again, if normally this is just a way of estimating what your worst case would be, that 50% would be defective. And so how do I go about guessing what kind of sample size I need? This will give you a way to calculate that. If you knew the sample size population of products, you could actually type that in here and get a sample size for a known population as well. And that's how easy it is to calculate sample sizes in the QI macros.